Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Purchase Orders window is the form used to order inventory items from vendors. You can receive the items as they are shipped in the Purchases slash Receive Inventory window later. Purchase orders can be edited by adding or removing line items and do not actually affect the amount in the Accounts Payable account until you receive the items ordered. You can open the Purchase Orders window by selecting Tasks from the menu bar and then choosing the Purchase Orders command. When you're filling out a purchase order, you start by selecting the Vendor ID of the vendor for whom you are creating the purchase order from the drop-down of the same name. If you create purchase orders in an external application, then enter the purchase order number into the PO number box. If you plan on printing the purchase order in Peachtree, then leave this field blank as it will be assigned during the print routine. You can then enter the date the purchase order was created and set the good through date too. Your address information should appear in the ship to fields. If your billing address is different from your shipping address, you can enter the shipping address here. You may also notice a small checkbox for Close Purchase Order or Close PO. Note that you can check this box to manually close a purchase order you created if you later learn that you won't be receiving all of the items ordered. It will automatically check itself once all the items from a purchase order have been received. Now below this area is the customer sales order number, customer invoice number, discount amount, terms, ship via, and accounts payable account fields. Now after you've checked and changed that information if needed, you then enter the goods and or services that you want to purchase from the vendor into the line item area. Starting in Peachtree 2005, if you are entering a PO for a vendor marked as a preferred vendor for a particular item, you can use the auto fill button that appears in order to automatically purchase any low stock items that you routinely order from the currently selected vendor. Note that the received field in the line item area indicates how many of the items were shipped on previous bills. The item field shows the item ID of the items if used. The description shows the description of the selected item. The GL account field shows the item's inventory account. When ordering items not in inventory, it will default to the vendor's purchase account. This can be changed if needed. You also need to enter the unit price and amount. Starting in Peachtree 2005, you can view the current vendor balance in the lower left corner. Clicking the right pointing arrow here will show you a report on the selected vendor. Once you've filled in the purchase order, you can then simply click the Save button to save it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.